which of the following is the most appropriate initial intervention for this patient? Um, IV antibiotics, emergency cholecystectomy, uh, ERCP, um, percutaneous transhepatic cholangiography, or ursodeoxycholic acid administration. This is a 55-year-old man with a history of cholelysiasis presenting with fever, right upper quadrant pain, and jaundice, our triad for cholangitis. Um, lab studies show elevated liver enzymes, increased bilirubin levels, and leukocytosis. And then a abdominal ultrasound reveals dilated intrahepatic and extrahepatic bile ducts with the presence of gallstones, and the blood cultures are positive for E. coli. Um, so the dilated intrahepatic is the primary sclerosing cholangitis. Um, it's clearly infected. Um, I'm trying to remember the exact treatment for this. Um, yeah, and this is, you know, a little bit unfair of a question, right? It's a little bit more step two, but I think that, you know, thinking through these questions and just know that, you know, sometimes, you know, we're going through these questions and it, these likely won't show up on your step one, but it's, you know, gets you in kind of that clinical mindset, which is why I kind of made some of these questions interwoven. They're very few, far and few between, less than 1% of the bank, but um, this is kind of, you know, a step two, uh, you know, step two type question. Perfect. So what I'm like debating between is like, he's clearly got the infection. He's going to need antibiotics for the infection, but I'm pretty sure, but not positive that the primary sclerosing cholangitis is treated with the ursodeoxycholic acid administration. So I'm trying to figure out what he needs first, I guess. I'm going to go with that last one, the ursodeoxycholic acid administration, mostly because I don't know. Sure. Um, so this one's kind of interesting, right? And so actually this is going to be ascending cholangitis secondary from cholelithiasis. And the reason why you can figure that out is because he has fever, right upper quadrant, abdominal pain, and jaundice. So you know it's kind of um, stuck in kind of that um, gallbladder area, right upper quadrant area, right? Then you have elevated liver enzymes, bilirubin, leukocytosis. So in your mind, right, I always think, you know, um, during these kind of questions is that, you um, you know, in my mind, I draw this out, right? You have the liver, you have your gallbladder, right? You have your cystic duct, right? And then you have your left and right hepatic ducts that come together, your common hepatic duct to then make your common bile duct, right? And then, right, that then joins into kind of where your pancreas is, right? And then your pancreatic duct and that come down to kind of join kind of the ample vader, right? I know that's a lot of anatomy, right? I don't, to be honest, I don't even remember how I remember all that. But anyways, um, sometimes I surprise myself. But um, so now when, the reason why I drew all this stuff, right, because you have elevated liver enzymes, you have increased bilirubin, leukocytosis, and you have right upper quadrant pain. So likely, right, um, then they give you extra information. Abdominal ultrasound reveals dilated intrahepatic and extrahepatic bile ducts with the presence of gallstones. So you know that your gallstone is probably stuck somewhere right here. Okay. And so that's not good. It's stuck in the common bile duct, meaning that you have inflammation in your gallbladder, inflammation of your liver, right? And you're super sick. So this is going to be ascending cholangitis, just meaning that you have a stone, you have stasis, and you have bacteria that crawled all the way up, causing very, very sick issues. And so the best way you're going to do it is you're going to use this e ERCP, right? Which is an endoscopic retrograde choli cholangiography, right? Meaning you take a scope, you kind of take a look here and kind of try to get this stone out and release it so the pus can kind of flow out. So that's going to be your best. You're going to treat um, the, the main cause of the infection, which is a stone being stuck. And then um, you can also see it too. So you, you get a diagnostic and a treatment tool all at once. But like I said, this is a step two style question. Um, my main thing is you know, trying to kind of look at this and be like, oh man, I missed ascending cholangitis. So the diagnosis is kind of where I want you to think about. Yeah. Yeah. And remember the, what did you say? Sclerosing cholangitis, that's 55 years old, right? A little bit too old to kind of see that in a century. Okay. You're going to see it probably a little bit younger in life. Okay. Perfect. 